913, this is Tower, you're cleared to land. Take a drill deep, uh, one three, so you have plenty of time. You're in too close. Roger, Bob. Pilots, this is Pete with BananaHobby.com. Look at this. Check this out. This is something completely new and exciting for us at Banana Hobby. We're able now to make warbirds in the 63 inch wingspan category, which just absolutely blows me away. I mean, this is something in a 63 inch wingspan that used to be reserved for all the uh, nitro fuel powered models or gas fuel powered models. And now, this beautiful Warbird is available in an electric ready to fly format and I, it just completely blows me away. I love where this industry is going and uh, the way we're able to bring this to you guys and have everybody involved with this hobby. All right, so with that said, let's go ahead and get a little bit technical now about this really cool A1 Sky Raider Warbird. As I said, she spans out at 63 inches and this is a product of Blitz RC Works and which is only gonna be available here in the States at BananaHobby.com. First off, um, with this aircraft here, the main wings are wing bolted on there so they can be removed. So you can transport this very easily and also the main wing also splits in half so that you can transport it in actually two wing halves as well. And the fun thing about this aircraft is there's actually not any glue involved in it except for the canopy. The tail section is all screwed on there which means if you dent it, if you break anything, you can go ahead and just uh, remove the screws and you can actually replace that extremely, extremely easy. Beautiful four-bladed propeller on there, which we actually fly on with, uh, without any kind of power issues or any kind of uh, uh, efficiency issues or anything like that. Actually, it's extremely efficient, extremely powerful as well. The supplied ESC in here is an 80 amp ESC with a BEC built in as well. And uh, her battery pack is gonna be a 14.8 volt, 3200 milliamp lithium polymer pack if you choose to get it in the ready to fly format which means you can get it with the radio everything's included in it you can get it as a plug and play where you can use your own transmitter your own receiver and uh, your own battery pack or you can get it pretty much as an ARF as well and what I really like about this aircraft is once it comes to you in this format with the very minimal building which is probably about an hour's worth of building you can actually do your own thing with these warbirds take a airbrush to it take a can of spray paint, you know, a Sharpie, and just add your own personal details to these Warbirds, and that's what makes them so unique, is you can make these each of these Warbirds individual to as what you like it as well. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and turn the aircraft on. 
This is going to fly on either your six channel setup or if you optify it on seven channel, uh, you could split up the air brakes as well. So we're gonna go into a little bit technical stuff with this A1 Sky Raider now. We're gonna go and take the magnetic canopy off here. We're gonna go and plug her in. There we go. She's plugged in and hot. The battery bay in here is plenty, plenty big enough. If you opt to go to a larger battery pack, such as, you can go as high as a 5,000 milliamp rating if you choose to, but I would stay within the four, the four cell range if you're gonna stay with the 400 kV stock motor that's provided with this aircraft. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with one of the coolest things about this aircraft. First is the retracts. They are full servo-less mechanical retracts that are actually rotating as well for the main gears and the tail gear goes up. The tail gear retracts as well. So let's get this big old warbird up here. Big old honking thing. Let's go ahead and check out the retracts here. Check that out. Look at that. How sweet is that? That's what I call your big, big warbird with scale retracts. Once the retracts are up, look at this thing in the air. It's just absolutely amazing. This thing is humongous and I'm just super, super excited to be a part of this and this industry with this thing like this. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this. This was unheard of a few years back. Let's go ahead and put the gears down here. All right. Sweet gears in the lockdown position. And the cool thing about serverless retracts is they, if they tend to bind up or if something happens where they do bind up, they just kind of stop and then they'll continue their motion. So nothing will ever break on it. There's no servos to break, no stripped, uh, stripped gears or anything like that. So with that, I got, I'm gonna show you now the air brakes. Check this out. First, we have the main flaps, the flaps here. As you can see the flaps, the, the flaps here program. That is so nice, slows this thing down so very nice. And what's cool is it has air brakes now on the main fuselage, just like the exact scale replica. Here we go, let's check out the air brakes here. Look at that, how cool is that? Uh, the two on the side, and then one on the bottom side of the fuselage. Look at that. That is just so cool. I have the channel split up, but if you choose to get it on a Y harness, you can actually just wire the air brakes together. You can use them to slow it down in the air, or if you choose, you can just use it for aesthetics where you're, when you've landed and you're taxiing back, you can go ahead and flip the air brakes. So let's go ahead and put the air brakes back up here. And your other functions, pretty much, you have your main aileron, you have your elevator, and then you have your rudder with a steerable tail wheel. Well, I mean, with that said, this uh, A1 Sky Raider is full APO foam construction, so the durability is right up there, so there's no, you don't dent it as easy. Once you break it or anything like that, it's not gonna crumble on you. So the durability is right up there. This is what you guys have asked for and what, um, what I have worked with the manufacturer and to get it to this level so that I'm trying to incorporate everything that you guys have asked for in an RC model. Warbirds, amazing. One of my loves, really, really love Warbirds. I have a big heart for Warbirds and you gotta just stay tuned because we have a whole line of Warbirds coming on to uh, the Banana Hobby website in the 63 inch and larger. Let's go ahead and take the A1 Sky Raider and give her a scale flight through the sunny skies of Southern California. We'll see you guys in the air.
Alright pilots, that is your flight review of the 63 inch A1 Sky Raider, available up on Anahobby.com. As you can see from the flight performance, it's absolutely rock solid in the air. What a piece of history flying through the air. What just the the enormity of this warbird is absolutely amazing. You have to see this in person to, to be able to appreciate how gorgeous this warbird is. Like I said, this is bone stock out of the box. Great, great, great performance. Get yourself one of these and be a part of history and pilot a piece of history. That's what this is all about, the love for flight. And uh, thank you guys always for joining me for these flight reviews. With that, we're going to call this a wrap with this. It's getting hot out here and uh, we're going to just take this home and let her look pretty. My name is Pete. Thank you once again. I'd love to have you guys follow me on Twitter.com. Like us on Facebook.com and follow us on YouTube as well. I'd love to see you guys out of field sometime. Come out, say hi to me. We'll hang out and do some flying. With that said, A1 Sky Raider, Monster Warbird, I'm speechless. We're going home and putting this on the workbench. See you guys on another day with a different flight video. See you guys on the way.